the reason girls have to carry all those things is because when they made jeans for girls, they made fake pockets. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one I think I have really grown to love to make, which is a lot to say considering I've only made this video once before, and that is me reacting to TikToks that only girls understand. And I think the reason I like it so much and enjoy it so much, and maybe this is the reason you enjoy it just as much as me, is because it makes me feel like other girls are as weird or as particular as I am. So it makes me feel like I am not alone, and it's very just relatable makes you feel like you're part of this secret society even though we're just girls or whatever you identify as but I love this video I'm so excited for this video and if you are I want you to give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below make sure to follow my Instagram my Twitter and my TikTok so you haven't seen my videos get a chance to be in them and also get to be a shout out of the day if you like to see more videos I did post a part one to this I also have a lot of like girly bingeable secret tea confession videos on my channel there's a playlist for everything I have my girl talks my all about periods my period horror stories my secrets and confessions so many bingeable things things to watch. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe for more. But for now, go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, and let's see if these are things that girls actually and only understand. The first time I did this, some of them I was so confused, and I feel like it's because they were very sexual things, and I was like, I never did this as a kid. I see some of y'all were freaks as kids, so I guess we're going to see if this one is as freaky or if this one is something else. I don't know. Let's get into this. <laughs> Me at 14 and getting my period in class. Okay, so she's saying something like, do you have a tampon? I'm my period. Oh, okay, okay. So basically... My coochie's bleeding, so if anyone can help a sister out. Does anyone have a tampon? You have a tampon? Good, thank you. What's up? Regular? Facts. Um, yeah, can I have two of them? Because, like, that's going to go by in, like, a second. Like, when I say my coochie's bleeding, I mean, like, my coochie's bleeding. <laughs> This is very, very relatable. And I say this all the time in my period videos. If you're not comfortable about your period, just wait for it. Basically, middle school you embarrassed as hell talking about your period, whispering to your friends. Once you get used to it, you do not care who knows you have your period. Because, I mean, you can't control a period. You can't do anything about it. So, this one says no one, literally no one. Girls' hands be like... Yep. The reason girls have to carry all those things is because when they made jeans for girls, they made fake pockets or the tiniest pockets possible that you can only fit a penny. Who did that? Why did they do that? Do you ever seen guys' jeans? Those pockets go on for miles. They have like two things. Okay, three. Phone, wallet, keys, girls. We got tampons. We got lip gloss. We got our keys. We got maybe like a little mirror. So many things and such little space. So yes, you have to learn how to carry a lot of things with your hands. You have to go to your nail tag and explain to her why you want two of your nails cut short. Um, if you know... That's a lesbian joke. You know? <laughs> but she literally looks at me and goes, oh, so you work. And I was like, damn fucking right. <laughs> Oh, wait, that doesn't just have to be a lesbian joke. That could be a you doing it to yourself joke. Okay. I hate it when men are like, oh my God, women never know what they want. No, John, I want flowers, but I don't want to tell you that I want flowers because then you're just going to go and get me flowers because I told you I wanted flowers. I want you to want to get me flowers. Wow. I hate telling someone what I want because in a perfect world, they would know exactly what I want and they would just get it for me and surprise me and then I could be like, oh my gosh, they know me so well. They care about me so much instead of being like, I want this and then just go getting it, you know? Because I feel like there's no, what's the term I'm looking for? There's no thought behind it, you know? And it's the thought that counts. If you just get me something I wanted, then did you really think about it? No, I thought about it. You feel me? So yes, we all want flowers, but we're not gonna tell you we want flowers. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm back with another loyalty test. So I had message oh, this no. voice I think you are so handsome. To which he responded, thanks, but I have a girlfriend. So straight past, right? Wrong. So I texted the girlfriend back and I was like, hey, your man passed with flying colors. And she put, thank you so much. I don't she like this. I sent her a screenshot. So before I even sent her one, he sent her one. So great, right? Wrong. After he sends his girlfriend the screenshot, he unsends the message saying that he has a girlfriend, likes the message that I sent calling him handsome, and on top of that, likes one of my posts. So I was like, what the heck? Okay, time to keep going. After he unsent that message, he reacts to one of my story highlights with hard eyes. I would murder I him. I responded, thank you. 
He then put, welcome. I was like, can you guess what ethnicity I am? And the reason I did this is because I read your comments. You guys said I came on too strong and they caught on, so I took it slow. I told him to take a guess. He guessed Latina. I told him, bingo. I am Colombian and Mexican. He then responded with this. what ethnicity he is. And I'm running out of time, so like for part two. <laughs> You're not giving me part two right now? Listen, not too long ago, I did a video where I DM'd your crushes on Instagram. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna do it again for Vlogmas, so go check out my community tab page on my YouTube channel so you can submit for Vlogmas videos, including that one. But that being said, you guys mentioned something like this in the video comments, and you requested that I make a video where I test the loyalty of your significant others, and that's basically what this girl just did, and the fact that that man played it off like he was loyal, unsent the message, and then went back and flirted. Bruh. And here we are, all thinking that men were dumb and didn't know how to use social media. They've been fooling us this entire time. I feel like the reason I don't like this is because, like, sure, you're exposing who's a cheater, but it's, like, to one extent, because, like, morally, you're also inserting yourself in a relationship and almost kind of being a homewrecker. And when they decided to cheat, that's their fault, but, like, you kind of push them to be the cheat. I don't know. It's just a sticky situation. I want to know what you guys think, but more TikToks. <laughs> Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, how to get the Ooh, smoothest shaving tips. Coaching. Let's get into it, baby. Well, the first thing I did was invest in an electric razor. Baby, please do electric. this. It will literally change your life. This is the Panasonic. I got off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. So before I even get in the shower, I just trim the entire area down so I don't have to deal with like as thick or long hairs as I normally do. And you don't clog the drain. Once I'm done with that and I actually get into the shower, the first thing I do, which is so important, I promise, is exfoliate. I exfoliate the area, gets rid of the dead skin, and it allows a really smooth and close shave. Shave. Then when I'm done exfoliating, I use the Flamingo Shave Gel. This is like the best shaving cream I've ever used in my entire life. And their little razor, so definitely would recommend this bad boy. I would also recommend this skin solution. Helps with ingrown hairs and razor bumps. Ooh. And then other than that, I kind of just put a little cocoa butter, and I promise... So I just posted a video where it's like how to shave and how to take care of your downstairs area and this is pretty much like everything. I've never used an electric uh, shaver, razor? I forgot what it was called. I've never used an electric razor. I use a men's razor. But I did say you could trim with like those little nail scissors and I guess if you have an electric razor, there's no need for having two different things. You just use the same one. So actually, that don't sound too bad. But also if you guys want me to test a TikTok shaving routine, let me know because I'm definitely considering it and this is making me want to do it even more. Was that another inappropriate thing? You getting turned on by desk corners? I mean, you do you. You do you. Growing up means going from using lip gloss to matte lipstick and back to lip gloss. Yes! <laughs> Only girls will understand. All the time all the time. To avoid lipstick on your teeth, obviously like wash your hands before you do this. You stick your finger in your mouth and you pull it out and all remaining lipstick that you have like in here will be on your finger. You just wipe it off. Only girls understand this feeling after a shower. Is it feeling like a naked mole rat? Yeah. Best feeling ever. You ain't got no money to- I'm probably having to mute this because copyright. Shampoo and conditioner a week later. Wait, what? Oh, no. I was gonna say always because I thought it was the shampoo that went way down over the conditioner. No. Is that more like a curly hair thing? Listen, I shampoo once, then I shampoo again, and then I condition. I always run out of shampoo before conditioner. I'm so confused, but okay. Flowers are like 5 to $20. If you don't like your girl, just say that. For real, though, you can literally get a bouquet of flowers at Walmart for like $4.98. So what's your excuse? Go pick flowers. Go grow some flowers. What's stopping you? Let's confuse the boys. My favorite thing to do. The teddy bear. Are y'all getting inappropriate again? <sighs> or is it just a favorite teddy bear? Is it not inappropriate? I'm making it inappropriate? I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's confuse the boys again. Your heel? I thought we were confusing the boys. So why did you confuse me? Achilles heel? Someone please explain, I have no idea what's going on. Girls, let's confuse the boys. This is the same girl, she just went from a carpet to this little fur thingy. Okay, sis. Beauty blenders? That's it? Really? I was expecting something like, I don't, I actually, no, I don't know what I, what I was expecting, but definitely not a beauty blender, like, okay. All right, she back with the pink carpet. What is it? Not the pool jet. That one I get. The desk, the teddy bear, the chair corner. Damn, y'all desperate, huh? Pressure. You did good, you did good. 
deep breath in and release. <laughs> I'm good. I'm so good. Listen, I know waxes are effective, but I just quite frankly don't want to feel that pain down there, even if it's just for a second. I don't want to find that out. That's a great video idea though. Me getting a wax for the first time and talking about my experience. Do I want to go through that pain though? Probably not. But if this gets enough likes, your girl just might. But anyways, <laughs> when you get home from school after holding in your stomach all day, you release it, girl. Me after taking photos. Oh, and skinny jeans. Especially after lunch, dude. Come to my apartment and I will beat the fuck out of you. If you think you're gonna call me and fucking disrespect me, how about that? You don't know who the fuck I am. I hope you know that. I hope. Good for her. Kill him. <laughs> Any girl with all four is wife and material. Who made this? Fast replies, they spell replies so wrong, is insecure, strict parents, ugly laugh. So like every Latina girl ever, <laughs> that was just my first thought. I mean, strict parents was insecure, not so much now. Ugly laugh, debatable. Fast replies, I did have fast replies, now I can't be bothered. Whatever. <laughs> what have peace. Go on a run and walk around my neighborhood with both your butts in. That one wins. As a woman, I would like to be able to enjoy my life without being in constant fear, you know? I went to the store the other day and the store is like very close to where I live. I'm driving home and my grandma's home and she's like, oh, you drove to the store, why didn't you just walk? And I'm like, because I didn't want to die. I didn't want to get abducted. Didn't want to get mugged. <laughs> Literally just imagine how peaceful it would be to just be able to walk without a care or fear in the world. Must be nice. Gym. Oh, there's wear more. Go to the gym Travel and wear short skirts. With my best Travel friend alone. Without thinking we're gonna end up like in the yep. movie Taken. Wholeheartedly. Walk around downtown or the beach at night. Just literally feel safe. Not be paranoid and have to constantly look over my shoulder when this I'm This one right outside. here, officer. Girls with strong intuitions will tell you they feel off about something or someone and they're seen as crazy or judgmental when in reality they knew the vibe just by gut feelings. Yes, I say this all the time. Trust your gut. Your gut is like 99% always right. Do men ever think to themselves, ooh, my behavior might be hurting her. That's some tea. Stop. Or are y'all just fucking soulless? for friend. I'm the friend. About how her boyfriend hates it when she steals his clothes. Meanwhile, my boyfriend gave me a whole duffel of his clothes knowing That's he's not getting one. it back. I'm just saying, if your boyfriend hates something you do or something about you, then like, is he really a good boyfriend? Let's think about that because a real one would support you and encourage you unless you're being like stupid and doing dumb things and a real one would be like, okay, you're being stupid and doing dumb things. But like, you get what I mean? Like if your boyfriend gets mad over you like stealing his sweatshirt, then like, okay, bye. Like it's our sweatshirt now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. I want you to tell me which one of these you thought was the most relatable and if you have your own definitely feel free to comment those down below some of them I was just like no some of them I was like yes I think the uh, whole wanting to feel safe probably a really big one you know which one else I thought was really really relatable is like that fresh feeling of after you shaved and you just lay in your bed sheet to your blanket and it's like I feel like Rufus the naked mole rat it's probably easily one of the best feelings ever but if you have your own definitely comment those down below now shout out of the day goes to Clarice on Instagram thank you so so much if you would like to be shout out of the day, follow me on Instagram. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, let me know by giving this a thumbs up. If you want to see a part three, I'm so down to do it because I just love calling some of these out and being like, no. Seriously though, can someone explain what the heel was about? I have no idea. I'm trying to think and I generally have no idea. But other ones I'm like, oh yes, 110%. So I love making this video and I think you guys enjoy it just as much. So subscribe for more if you want to see more. And you can definitely go binge a lot of my other content on my channel as well, including my period horror stories and my secrets and confessions and all that good stuff. Stuff. But all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye!